Welcome back. This is the first video of week one, learning your digital content. Once you sign in to ConnectEd, this is where you land. This is your virtual backpack. Your book bag will contain any books of the courses that you will be teaching for that particular year. At the very top of the page is a black bar. In this black bar, you can get to features such as an additional help, help menu, the Connect Ed button that will always take you back here to your book bag, and Profile. Profile is where you can change your password for this particular site. So if you want to change your login password to something that you're much more comfortable and might remember, feel free to do so from there. Once here, choose the course that you would like to enter and just simply click on the Teacher Edition. By clicking on the Teacher Edition, this will take you to the home page for that particular teacher center. Once there, you'll notice you have another black bar. In this black bar, it'll say hello and it'll have your name. Mine's GM for Winco Math. My home button, which this is my home page, so it'll always take me here. Connect Ed. Remember, Connect Ed takes me back to my backpack. Another help button as well as log out. So the next bar is the Horizontal Teacher Center. In this Teacher Center, you, this white box will allow you to use this as any other search engine, searching your McGraw-Hill content, as well as a standards key. Once at the standards key, what I'd like for you to do is make sure whenever you click here, don't click your state, but click up to Common Core Standards. Once you've clicked Common Core Standards, then choose your mathematical standards. From there, you can search by keywords or code. I'm going to search by keyword, so let me put in the word integers in 7th grade. And from integers in 7th grade, I'm going to hit search. This will pull up the 7th grade Common Core State Standards that involves integers. The beauty of this is I click anywhere on that standard and here is a plethora of resources that right here at your fingertips for you to use with any of those particular standards. So a key way to search. Now of course I can go to my black bar and hit the home key and that takes me right back to my home page in the center. The next bar that I would like to explore is the blue. The blue bar is basically your virtual filing cabinet. From here, I can access all my lesson plans as well as pre-made lesson presentations or presentations maybe that you have made. Manage and assign. I can manage all my classes and assign resources and homework options to my students from here. Assess key as well as resources. This is an excellent tab for you to get very quickly to any particular resource at one time. As I continue to scroll through the blue bar, some other popular features include the shared classes and the My Files. Notice as I'm scrolling over any of these icons, it will call out the name. So my calendar, my notebook, my glossary, as well as my ebook. Below and in this blue bar is also a drop down menu. From this drop down menu, you can choose any chapter. Automatically takes you to the chapter overview. And I want you to notice this resource icon tray over here. I use my yellow button and I can scroll through any of the resources, but just notice just the amount of resources here. Now, watch whenever I change from my chapter overview to this inquiry lab. Notice how this tray of resources also changed. Keep in mind that the resources available are at point of use. So every time you use this drop down menu from the chapter to a particular lesson, inquiry lab, mid chapter check, your tray of icons will also change. From here, you also notice these two other windows. 
One includes your schedule and a second one for messaging. This concludes the first video on learning your digital resources. Thank you. Now that you're familiar with the Teacher Center, how about going in and completing a few tasks, like going into Profile and changing your password? Or, once you get to your Teacher Center, searching for your favorite standard. And let's not forget this great drop-down menu that I can go in, choose my chapter, choose my lesson, and explore all the different resources through my resource carousel. So now that you've explored the Teacher Center, please go to the Quick Start discussion forum. There, share your experience. Ask any questions. McGraw-Hill Education Professionals will be there monitoring and participating along the way. We look forward to hearing from you soon.